Hello and welcome to the Pro Structures Connect Edition onboard video guide session. In the last video, we have seen how to create 2D drawings from the 3D models. In this video, I will demonstrate the process of adding annotations and labels along with setting up the delimiters to detail the 2D drawings. So let's get started. In the drawing model, we first need to turn off the 3D rebar levels. You can do that by setting off the display of these levels in the Level Display tool. Now to add the annotations and labels, you need to go to the Drawing Production tab and choose the Modify Rebar tool. You will then be prompted to select a rebar for modification. After choosing a rebar, the Bar Modification tool and other sub-tools of this toolset will come up. We have two more buttons, one to save the modified rebar after we have used the previously mentioned tools and the other is to quit the modified rebar button. Now select the bar range display tool to set up the delimiters. In the range display, you have the option to detail all bars or to hide the delimiters. In this case, we will choose the delimiter type as the typical bar delimiter. You can use the required offset tools to set the position of the typical displayed rebar. Also, you can apply the adjust buttons to set the position of the delimiters as per your requirements. Then, you can choose to display the rebar as a full section and filled if required. In this case, we will choose to display the rebars as a line and hence uncheck these settings. Now, click on the main bar labeling button. Choose your preferred label type. You can set up other parameters as per your organizational standards and then set up the text you want to display in the labels. You have the option to select from the presets and at the end of this list, you have a help option to access the complete list of placeholders that you can use while setting up the labels. You can also manually set up the label text. In this case, for these stirrups, I will manually enter the text. Once you have set up the desired text, you can uncheck the reveal codes to review what the labels will look like. Now to place this label, click on new and then select a label start point. This would be the origin point for the label. Further, click on another point in the direction where you want the label placed and finally right click to accept the position and place the rebar label. Once you have placed the rebar, click on the OK button in the bar modifications tool to save the modified rebar. Similarly, you can repeat this process to other 2D bars in your model and set up the bar range display in accordance to your standards. So this is how one can detail the 2D drawings by adding annotations and labels in Pro Concrete Connect Edition. Thanks for watching. I hope you have found this video insightful. On your screen, you will see a few more ways to get added information about Pro Structures Connect Edition. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can be alerted to new videos in the series. In the following video, we will demonstrate the process to export this Pro Structures model to IFC.